Hey everybody, welcome back to your database design series. This video I wanted to talk a little bit more about introduction to keys, although I'm going to go just a bit off topic, and I'm going to talk about indexes. So I don't think we talked much about these in this series yet, but we are going to be talking about an index. Alright, so what's an index? I'm not going to be explaining every single detail of indexes because we're not really talking about indexes in this video, we're talking about keys. So I'm just explaining enough so you understand how this relates to keys. So think of an index. Best example I have is a book. So if I have a really awesome book like, like physics or something, well, what I can do is I'm like, oh, I want to know about this. I can flip open to the back, right? And I can travel to the index. And I'd be like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that looks nice. Page 7,832. And then I can read about that. Well, that's a lot quicker than being like, oh, I want to know about this. Page one? Mm, not on there. Page two? Mm, nope, not there. Not, not there. Oh, nope, not there. Mm, no. Mm, nope. No. Mm, no. And keep going through the entire book until you find it. That'll take forever. Another good example is a phone book. When you go through a phone book, you have uh, everything's alphabetic and it has the data right there. So when you think of an index in a book, it points you to the data, whereas a phone book, it just has the data there. You can be like, oh, I'm going to go to the letter G, find grandma, and call her. <laughs> right? That's kind of how an index works, and it's very similar for a database. If we had a table, and it's like a user table, Boom, 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 boom. User. And let's say we have six billion rows in this. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy number. And we want to find everybody with the name Caleb. Just Caleb, yeah. We want to find everyone with the name Caleb. Well, without indexes, basically the database is going to go, row one, does it have the name Caleb? No, it doesn't. Row two, does it have the name Caleb? No. Row three, yes, it does. We'll put that We'll put that back in the uh, return statement. And then it goes through every single, sing every single row within the entire table, which can take ages. So if we give it an index, and we, sort we order that data in a way that the database knows how to find certain, like it could know exactly where the C's are, well then it can go straight to the C's, grab all the Caleb's, and boom, it's done. It's like super fast. That's kind of how an index works. Well. What's that have to do with keys? Well, when we define a key, it's actually a type of index. That's because keys and indexes are used for select statements, where clauses, and joins. So if I could do something like select everything from users, for example. There's just like a SQL example. I mean, it, it'll vary from whatever uh, programming, like relational database management system you use. Well, this is a general example. And then I could say where, now this is where I specify. Holy cow. Sorry. <laughs> Drop the weight. It's <laughs> holding my books. Anyways, I'm selecting all of the columns. And then I want to select every column where first name has the value Caleb, for example. Well, that's how we would do this. This right here, this whole where thing, well, it's best to have an index for that. Another thing we commonly do are joins, which is basically combining two tables. And I'm not going to go into all the syntax for all that. Basically, if we have a table over here, users, and then a table over here, comments and we want to make a generate a new view where we have all of the comments from a user and all of the information about that user we could have a new generated view and we can join these statements and how does it know how to join it it uses the i it uses the uh, the key right so if we have a primary key and let's say we used username so the key I'll draw the key here The key is username, 
well, what, how would we join it? We would say, I want you to take this table and this table and then combine all of the rows where the username is Caleb Curry over here and the username is Caleb Curry over here. So that way it knows all of these comments are from Caleb Curry, which we can assign to that user with the name Caleb Curry. Or you might often see it with like an ID number. So it could be like ID 6. Take all the comments from the user with the ID of 6, join it with the, I'm sorry, take all the rows with the uh, user with the ID of 6, join it with all of the rows with the user of ID 6, and it combines them individual rows for each ID. With an, when we make a uh, primary key, or just a key for now, well, we're defining an index so the database can easily access the order of our data and combine things. So that is how kind of how indexes relate to keys. Key is a type of index. There are all kinds of types of indexes. And we will talk more about that in upcoming videos, but for now, that's really all I got to say. So yeah, peace out. Check, check out the next video. See you guys later. Bye.